the best view ever. All right, I think it's on. <clears throat> well, it's an early morning. I'm back from vacation. And I want to talk about the two phones that I took with me. Well, three phones that I took with me on this trip. So, my primary phone of choice uh, is for this trip was the LG G8. Now, I posted a few things online showing how, you know, just I was on the beach. Like, no, I'm always on the beach. Uh, but um, I decided to go ahead and uh, post during my vacation. I even put up two videos during my vacation. Now, they were just screen grabs. Uh, but um, I wanted to, you know, I had a little bit of just a second for a downtime. So I put up two five, six minute videos and that was that. But I want to talk about how the G8 did. And then my experience with Project Fi. So I had Project Fi, I had T-Mobile, and I had Visible. Uh, so first, let's talk about the G8 cameras fantastic I shot a lot of footage on the beach but it's not something that I want to share with the public uh, so I did little snippets here and there and needless to say the the G8 did fantastic in low light I posted one of the low light photos I took uh, up you know uh, on, on Instagram I didn't tweet anything I pretty much put a few things on Instagram and that's pretty much it I even showed you guys the new truck on Instagram um, just did a few things so um, the G8 though performed like a champ out there um, it was just great now I've taken the G8 to the lake before I've taken it different places um, but I don't recall if I've ever taken it to the beach with me uh, I think I took the iPhone last time uh, as the primary shooter and um, <clears throat> I was kind of hoping that I could take my Sony Xperia 1 but I'll just take it next time because I vacation more than you guys know. I'm often I'm not even in the state of Texas and I'm somewhere else when videos are going live. Uh, but I think the G8 did fantastic. A lot of you guys were asking, even though I was saying, hey, vacation life, a lot of you guys were asking, whoa, you know, uh, what, what phone took that photo? Uh, and because, uh, you know, I don't take my DSLR. I don't want to travel around with a DSLR. So the G8 was a no brainer for me on this trip because I didn't have the Xperia 1 at the time. Uh, but now that I have the Xperia 1, I'll take that one out on the next go-around uh, as the primary shooter. So the G8 held its own. Battery life was great. Everything was fantastic. Uh, and um, that's, that's, that's that. So, on to Project Fi. Now, the reason I'm talking about Project Fi is because somewhere along the path of uh, the trip, the phone started giving me this crazy error message uh, and letting me know that my um, service, something was wrong with my service and I needed to contact customer service. And so it, here's the exact message right here. Uh, it says, the SIM card has been locked. Please power cycle your device. Uh, and if the problem persists, contact customer service. Well, I contacted customer service <clears throat> and needless to say, uh, nothing got done. Pretty much they had me take my SIM card, my Project 5 SIM card out of uh, the Moto G7 and put it into, I put it into an iPhone uh, XR uh, and then it started to work. The service worked great. Uh, and then when I put the other SIM card in the in the project in, Google, in my Moto G7, obviously it worked. Uh, but I don't know what was up with that. And so I switched it back and then I got that error message a couple of more times and then I'm not getting it anymore. So I'm going to contribute it to, it was the travels, the, you know, the locations that I was at because um, it, it was weird. Project Fi, normally when I'm here and when I'm traveling, I have no issues whatsoever. Uh, but this time, this phone sucked. It, it just, the service was bad, man. And I'm guessing, it, I saw it switch over to Sprint a few times, uh, but predominantly it stayed on T-Mobile. And it was slow internet. I had a T-Mobile phone next to me getting 80 megabits down, and this one getting like 8 and I know that's because the networks are prioritized. Project Fi, uh, Google Fi, doesn't come first over T-Mobile, but <clears throat> the main network that it stays on, <clears throat> excuse me, coffee. <clears throat> the main network that it stays on is T-Mobile. Uh, and you know, that's unfortunate that it doesn't jump around because 
Sprint's network is actually pretty solid and stable in areas, but Google Fi this time sucked for me for some reason. I don't know what it was about. I did take a few photos with the Moto G7, uh, but when I compared them next to the G8, it was weird. It was night and day for what I got, and y y you're going to be, you would be totally surprised that these photos came from the Moto G7. I cleaned the lens, I did everything. It was just two, literally night and day, two different photos. It seems like it seemed like I was using something else. I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't even describe it. They were the same scenery, sitting in the car, taking photos straight ahead shooting video straight ahead uh, it just looked weird how they came out completely different nonetheless um google fi was bad this time around i've traveled with google fi before i've had google fi for three and a half years almost i think or almost four it's, it's been a long time and the service is normally generally pretty good so that surprised me uh but now let's switch over to versatile or versatile visible sorry about that i don't know where i got versatile for shout out to versatile <laughs> youtube channel um, visible service actually did fantastic uh, because it's running on the Verizon network so there were times that we were under a bunch of palm trees or something like that and I, mind you I'm talking about driving and in, in certain locations um, the visible service cut out some places that the T-Mobile service cut out from uh, but overall the visible held its own actually um, there were times where the T-Mobile had no service uh, and then visible was full LTE. It was incredible, and that came in handy because we were in a hot spot where we were having we were um, guiding someone to a location, and then they actually pulled off, and we didn't even know that they stopped. Uh, and then I was like, "Oh, we got to call them," and everybody who had T-Mobile didn't have service, so which is everybody in the car. So for me, <laughs> even my 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 Google Fi didn't have service. It didn't switch over to Sprint in that area or Cellular One. So the visible line came in handy, but unfortunately, the people that were following us had T-Mobile. So <laughs> they had T-Mobile and Metro, so uh, they didn't have any service either. But as we passed that spot, you know, service came back. It's like these little spots in the uh, along the trip from from here to Florida that it's just spotty coverage. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm going to be bringing you guys more content. I'm back. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I definitely vacation more than you think. Um, it's it's strange. So I, I just label July as my vacation month uh, because that's generally when there's a lot of family in town or everybody's visiting my house or just things going on here. And um, I just label this the vacation month. But I'm telling you, folks, life is good. I earned all these vacations. And... Um, I'll be I'll be taking the Sony Xperia One. I'll give you some coverage on that. Just look for that. But I wanted to kick the morning off um, bright and early. I've been up chilling for a little bit. I said, you know, I'm going to go ahead and pull the camera out, shoot a video, give these guys an update on what happened along the way. And uh, the G8 did great. You know, the Moto G7 is a great phone, but for some reason, like I said, it just crapped. Google Fi crapped out on me this trip. I don't know what it was. Uh, Invisible did great. Look for a, a full follow-up on Visible uh, later on down the line. But it's your man Jay. Stay tuned for more content. And welcome me back. To, it's on, I've only been off YouTube for about five days or so. Maybe a week? I don't know. It hasn't even been five or six days. And it seems like eternity for you guys probably if I haven't pushed out any phone content or tablet content. <laughs> but I did push out the updates on the MacBooks and that's pretty much it. And those are screen grabs like I said. But I'm back at it folks. I'll start giving you content again. It's your man Jay. If you don't follow me on Instagram... Uh, follow me on uh, Mr. J. O. Williams for the tech stuff, and then for all the car stuff, it's 392 Silver Bullet. That's for the YouTube channel and all social media. It's the same. Mr. J. O. Williams for all the social media for tech, and 392 Silver Bullet for all the social media for cars and things like that. So, you definitely want to head over to 392 Silver Bullet if you haven't subscribed to that channel, and definitely follow me on YouTube for or, or, or um, Instagram for that, because you're going to see some cool stuff over there. It's your man Jay. Call me One Take Jake, and we're out of here.